Hi guys, in this video we'll be working on our routes file. So head over to your routes folder, open up your routes file, and here in the import section, we will import github.com slash go g slash chi. We need the chi uh, middleware to create those routes that we want to create. And here we'll also import the middleware. We also need server config which is basically our config folder. And we'll need our health handler and our product handler. And we'll also need our adapter folder. Um, so, but for now, let's just define these, all right? So server config for here, we'll say github.com slash akil slash uh, dynamo db go crud yt slash config, which is the config folder, right? And for our health handler, we'll say github.com slash akhil slash go. Sorry, I'll just copy this quickly. And we'll say internal handlers slash health, right? Internal. Inside that is handlers folder. Inside that will be a health uh, package that we'll create. And for product, we'll just copy and paste this whole thing quickly. And here, you'll just say product, okay? So let's firstly set our routers. So how do you set your routers? You'll say r dot set configs routers, which is basically calling this function right here. And you'll also set your router health and your router product, which are again out here itself. So we're just calling these two functions in this function, right, in the set routers function. And in both of these, we're going to pass repository. And that means the set out routers function will take something called as repository. And this will be defined in an adapter or interface. So we'll create something called adapter, adapter, and then we'll also create an interface. But for now, we don't have it. But we're just assuming that we're receiving something called a repository that we're passing into our router health and router product. And what we're returning from here is the router. Okay. Now let's set up our set configs router function. Here we want to enable cores. We have defined all these functions. We have not written the insides of these functions, but we have defined them, right? And enable logger. Then we have enable timeout and enable recover. And we will request ID. Sorry, we should have written R here. And enable real IP. And now your router health function, your router health function will be of type, which will be a struct method. And you'll have R and router. It'll accept again repository, something called as repository. I know we have not created it, and all of our functions are using it, but in uh, the next video, we will definitely create it, right? Right now, we're just assuming that we are getting something called as repository. So here, you'll have you'll access your health handler and you'll have a function called new handler in that file which we're accessing here and again we're passing repository to it now we'll start creating our routes the first route you have is health and in that health route we'll have a function 
which takes in route, which is of type G router, and we'll define that function. So we'll have our post method, we'll have a get method, we'll have a put method. So, sorry. We'll have a put method, we'll have a delete method, and we'll have an options method. And similarly with uh, router product, it'll be again a struct method, and it'll ex it'll accept repository, which is again of type adapter dot interface. And again we'll try write handler product handler dot new handler and as capital sorry. Oops, just make sure this n is capital, right? And here you'll pass repository again. And just like your router health, you'll again have this type of a format where you'll have, you'll define all APIs or routes with a slash product. Okay, and here we'll define the function where again we'll have our post route we'll have a get route we'll have a put route we'll have a delete route and we'll have options so so let's let me start with this and then we'll uh, you know do the same process in router product here the first um, so yeah, so after health, we want to put a slash, right? And we want to handle all the post operations using handler.post function. Okay, so at the health route, slash health route, um, at the root of the health route, we want to uh, handle the get, post, and all these methods. And the get, I want to handle using the get function, handler.get function. And here I'll have the handler.put function. In delete, I'll have the handler.delete function. And in options, I'll have the handler.options function. Similarly, in our product route, we'll have slash handler.post. We will have slash handler dot get and slash products will have ID, so we'll have to pass an ID to update a particular product. So we'll say handler dot put. Similarly, we want to delete a specific product, so we'll pass the ID of that product. handler.delete and here we'll have a slash handler.options perfect so here I think we have missed one function which is enable logger so I'll create that function enable logger this to returns a router all right, so in the next video, we'll continue with this file, and then we'll also complete our response file. Um, do subscribe to this channel so that you come to know when the next video of the series comes out, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.